Well, those 38 folks have the say. How much weight should they consider uh, Governor Quinn's opinion? I, let me just speak for myself as a member of the committee and as the chair why uh, my plan is to work cooperatively with the governor. You know, there's a lot of talk about Massachusetts, the Senate replacement for Kennedy, and just in general the outcome of this election. What does that mean for Democrats going forward? Do you have fears about voter anger at the party or with the economy, et cetera? Well, I, I think that uh, all candidates in the general election should be concerned about the condition of the national economy. And uh, it's not good. It's not getting better in a hurry. And, and I think that all of us should be doing whatever we can, state level, federal level, to rejuvenate the economy and get people back to work. And that's what's on the minds of the voters. The economy, jobs, paying bills, paying tuition. Who do you want to see on the ticket as lieutenant governor, as the nominee? Well, as I said, I, I plan to work with the governor, members of the committee, President Cullerton. Uh, I've committed to no one. I don't plan to advance any names today. Uh, I'm receiving it. I just received one a little bit ago. I'm not going to tell you. You pointed to Mr. Brown. Is he the man? You pointed to Steve Brown. Is he the guy? Well, well, always the guy. You know. Should we be surprised at the level of interest in this lieutenant governor position? So many people <laughs> running it for it, saying they want it. No, we should be surprised. Before a, a, a pick is made, will there be a criminal background check done on that person? I think that this time around, the two people will be helpful in that regard, right? Do you blame the media for Maybe. a part of this? I, I, I don't. I don't engage in blame games. I think that uh, people ought to just do some self-assessments. That's what they want to do. Not engage in finger pointing, recriminations. Ought to recognize that the problems of the economy are really important, and that's what we ought to come together on. And we ought to work on that. And we ought to work hard to get not participating do nothings among the Republicans to participate in solving these problems. Does the 50-50 vote in the governor's race say anything about Governor Quinn and how he has been as a leader taking over at this time when everybody, you know, came together post Bogoyevich? Yeah, I, I, I think, number one, uh, Quinn has been in a very difficult circumstance. He took over from a disgraced governor. As he came into office, there was a budget crisis. Uh, I think he's doing the best that he can. I think that there was a mistake made in the Department of Corrections, which opened the door for Hines, and he walked right in the door and took advantage of it. I'm rather surprised that there haven't been some dismissals over at the Department of Corrections. 